Today we're going to teach you five mistakes that a lot of young wingers make. And if you recognize yourself in some of these, hopefully you can take some of the advice away and actually avoid these mistakes. Now, Joel also made a video with three winger mistakes last year, but I thought I wanted to expand on that, just add a little bit since, you know, I'm actually a winger myself. So let's lace up our boots, which you can buy over here, by the way, and get going. Number one, getting tunnel vision. See, in modern football, being a winger is probably one of the most sexy positions because you get to dribble a lot, score some goals, and generally be very creative. But the thing is that since the winger's role is so defined, it's easy to get the idea that when you get the ball, there's only one direction to go, and that's straight towards the goal. That also means that a lot of young wingers get tunnel vision, so they get the ball, they turn, and immediately just start going towards the goal, no matter how many defenders are in front of it. And unless they've got gold-tier dribbling skills, that almost never ends well. See, the thing is that when you get tunnel vision, boom, boom, you tend to think less. And that means that apart from risking getting stuck in a dead end with a couple of defenders around you and nowhere to go, you also risk being so focused on the solo run that you don't see teammates making good runs around you going into dangerous positions. And that's the other side of the coin. If the defender knows that you're likely to go on a solo run every single time you get the ball in order to go to goal, it's gonna be super easy to defend against you because he doesn't have to worry about you doing anything unexpected because he knows you're gonna dribble. So when you get the pass, you look up and you assess the situation. Is the defender in front of you alone, which would give you the advantage in a dribbling situation? Is there maybe a teammate making a support run in a dangerous position or is the way ahead blocked by too many defenders, meaning that you should probably just step on the ball, pass it backwards so you can switch play to the other side? Of course. A winger needs to be able to beat a man or two or maybe even three. But the good wingers realize that the less the defender knows about what's going to happen, the more unexpected you can be, the bigger of an advantage you have. Don't get tunnel vision. Number two, blindly making crosses, which has something to do with getting tunnel vision from number one. But a mistake I see a lot of young wingers do is to work hard to get in a good crossing position. And when they do, they just blindly cross the ball into the box without really looking up or thinking. And sure, you might have some coaches telling you that it's your job to cross the ball and the striker's job to then be in the box where and when the ball comes. And it makes sense, but it's not always entirely true. See, a good winger realizes that it's not just your job to put a cross in the box and job well done. No, the good winger understands that you actually need to look up into the box and then only cross the ball if you have a teammate or two in there. And of course, if you see them, they're at the penalty spot when you look up, you pass the ball ahead of them so they can run into it. Because the thing is that if you cross the ball blindly and there's no one in the box, you're basically unnecessarily giving the ball away and there's no need to do that. So if you look up, you see there's no one there. Don't be afraid to step on the ball, pass it backwards and keep possession. Number three, standing on your heels when the ball is coming. Now I know it's football 101 and we learned it as kids to stay on your toes when the ball is coming. So we're ready but I still see a lot of young wingers just standing around there waiting for the ball to come. And when it finally does, they're standing on their heels, meaning that their balance is a bit backwards, meaning that it takes a bit longer for them to start moving forwards towards the ball. And that gives the defender time to start coming in and nicking the ball away from me because they're moving and I'm standing on my heels. So get on your toes and be ready. Number four is turning straight into a defender. Now, I'm not sure if you can already see where this is going, but if I get the ball from my fullback and I'm so focused on just turning around and going to goal, score that winner. So I don't know what's going on behind me. I just turn straight into Philip. That's trouble, right? You don't want that, but it's actually a very easy way to avoid it. And I've talked about it before, but when the ball is coming, you look up, to see what's going on behind you. And if there's a defender close to you, 
That means that you can either just pass the ball straight back where it came from or to a teammate that you can see. It's very important that you only move into places or pass into spaces that you can see to keep it simple. Of course, it also helps if your teammates tell you back or if you can turn. Number five, hiding and isolating yourself on the flank. Look, you're a winger and maybe your coach have told you to make the pitch wide and go to the touchline. And that makes sense, but you shouldn't just go there and as I said earlier, stand around, wait for the ball to come to you. No, if there's a defender around you and you're standing where you're supposed to be, you're not gonna be very dangerous. So it's your job to shake off the defender, maybe by coming deep, getting the pass, laying it back off and then running deep to shake the defender off because you have the upper hand here. On the other side, if the defender is close to you still, you can't make the deep run. Phil, come in front of me. You have to find another way of getting into open spaces and making yourself available. Because if Phil is standing right here, you know, you're standing in a shadow, your teammates can't pass you the ball. So get out, make yourself available. An open winger is a dangerous winger. So be dangerous. So to sum it up, don't get tunnel vision. Don't put crosses blindly into the box. Don't stand on your heels when the passes are coming. Don't turn straight into defenders and don't isolate yourself on the flank. Cool? Cool. But guys, do you have any other advice on how young wingers can avoid making mistakes? Let us know in the comment section right down below. And then if you want the Material Dream Speed Force, you can go and buy them on Unisport via the link right over there. But not before, of course, you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on and maybe go to the playlist to learn how to improve even more as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.